The Cambrian explosion made a lot of complex and weird animals. From calm jellies looking like Christmas ornaments, to animals such as Colinsium ciliosum, which looks like an upgraded sea cucumber by the way. This Cambrian explosion also produced Anomalocaris. This creature has been misinterpreted time and time again. The first sample of this creature was thought to be a shrimp. But what was thought to be a shrimp was later discovered to be a frontal appendage. You can clearly see that it looks a lot like a shrimp, so it's easily mistakable. The mouth of Anomalocaris was classified as a genus of jellyfish. Let's be real, this is just a pineapple ring with teeth. Another misinterpretation is the body of Anomalocaris, which was thought to be a sponge. Then more fossils came in with all these parts together, and it all made sense. They were pieced together and made Anomalocaris, the Frankenstein of prehistoric creatures. Anomalocaris is part of the Anomalocaridids, which include a ton of really unusual animals. The Anomalocaridids include Anomalocaris, Hatoya, and I'm not gonna even try to pronounce these. This eccentric monster lived in Australia, Canada, China, and the USA. This means that Anomalocaris had possibly worldwide distribution. It was 60 to 80 centimeters long, or 2 to 2.6 feet long, although some specimens have indicated that it reached up to 5.9 feet long. Anomalocaris means abnormal shrimp or unlike other shrimp. And this is true, as it is like a mashup of a few creatures. This carnivore was sort of a filter feeder and the top predator of the Cambrian Sea at the same time. Trilobite fossils have been found with injuries attributed to Anomalocaris, but computer modeling of Anomalocaris of parts suggests that they were designed to suck small, soft, shrimp-like organisms. The body of Anomalocaris is made up of flap-like lobes that were partially overlapping. These lobes were extremely flexible and made Anomalocaris move in a wave-like motion. Anomalocaris lived along trilobites and a few other bizarre life forms. As I have discussed, Anomalocaris was a really cool prehistoric animal and has gotten its fair share of attention in popular culture. It has been featured in the famous BBC documentary Walking with Monsters, in the video game Jurassic Park Builder, which is a well-known game, and even Pokemon have been based off of Anomalocaris, which is really neat, but it still is in Pokemon Go. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.